So this year we have been working with Apologia's um, level one exploring creation with mathematics. And I just want to share with you all how it's going with my second grader. So hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel. I am a homeschool mom to two and I make videos all about homeschooling and homeschooling uh, children with special needs. So today I want to share with you, I share in my uh, in a curriculum video that I was going to be doing Apologia math with my son. Apologia came out with this new math in a curriculum. I think they have up to third grade so far, I could be wrong. And so I decided to get him the Apologia 1. Uh, he is in second grade, but last year we had a rough year. We didn't uh, meet, meet the math goals for the year that, you know, but it's like, I feel like he was, you know, behind. So I decided to, I saw this, you know, curriculum and always uh, like Apologia is, it's a little rigorous. It's a little bit like higher level. So I decided he's really good in math, but I still felt, okay, there's some things that we have might have missed. So let's go back to first grade. And I think I have tried other curriculums that the first grade is not up to par with this. So this is, I will say, first grade, beginning of second grade, from what I see. I'm not a math expert, but so I wanted to see. I don't, I don't have a walkthrough of this, you know, curriculum. Uh, if you want me to walk through, I will. But today, I wanted to share. If you're looking at it, if you're looking at a math curriculum, if you're starting homeschooling now, you know, in, in January with your kids, you, you know, taking your kids out of school and want to start homeschooling, I wanted to share uh, how much we're liking this. You can, I'm sure there's other videos on YouTube that have um, walkthroughs. And please, if you really want to see it, I will try my best to do a video. So let me know in the comments. So one of the things I'm going to share with you why I'm liking so much of this book. So I'm going to share what I'm liking so much about this curriculum. First thing that I like, hands-on. For math, you need hands-on activities for your children, especially if you have kids that are very hands-on. So I love also that is being is hands-on. We use a lot of you know manipulatives, but are things that you can find at your house. Things that you know use beans. But if you have the math you know materials, I and I had you know math materials, so I'm able to use them. But if you don't, you can use things that you have in your house to be able to do these lessons. Um, one of the things I love, the lessons are short. So each unit, let me start here in a unit. So chapter seven, it starts subtraction up to 20. So the first thing you do, you do an activity. Okay. So that's the first thing you do. I like that, that the lesson is a hands-on activity and then you practice that. Another activity to pre and then this is rocket countdown, count back to subtract. And then you have the, the, the last door that the, the practice. And as you can see, there's only five problems here. Okay. You don't need 20 problems to work in one skill. So that's one of the things that I like that the lessons are short. The lessons start with a quick hands-on activity and then you practice. Okay. So I'm going to show you something else. Let me show something maybe that we haven't done. So chapter eight, we're doing addition and subtraction. How are they related? First thing, an activity. And then, and then you practice, okay? Again, just a couple of problems. That's what really, I really like that. Also, this is a Christian curriculum. So at the beginning of each unit, not of each lesson, but at the beginning of each unit, uh, so this is the addition, unit two is addition and subtraction. So seeing our creator in addition. So you read, okay, and how, how can we see God in everything we do? How can we see God in addition? So I like that, that they incorporate God. We don't see it that much in the, like, we don't see the word God in the, in the lessons that I have seen. But I do like that at the beginning of the unit, they talk about how you can see God in everything that you do. You know, especially, you know, if you're doing math, you can still see God through math. And the last thing why I like it is challenging enough for him. Being that he's in second grade, we are doing a first grade level in our curriculum. This has been challenging enough. He's doing things that he has not done before. So I feel this uh, apology for, for I, from what I have seen is it's a rigorous you know, curriculum for all you know, the different things that they, you know, they have. And I feel that this is challenging enough for him 
because he's good at math, but I wanted to go back a grade because of I feel that he missed so much because of his because his you know behavior was trying we were trying to figure things out. But this school year he's working so hard and he's doing his schoolwork and we're advancing. So, but this is still challenging for him as an almost eight year old that's that's working in a first grade uh, you know curriculum. Does that make sense? Okay. So those are the reasons why I'm loving Apologia's level one. Exploring creation with mathematics and I know already that for for when we're finished level one We're gonna start in level two. I don't know when we'll finish it But I already know I'm gonna continue to use uh, an apologia math. We are loving it So I hope they keep you know, uh, you know continue with, with with the different grades like I said I think it's third grade, but don't quote me on that and go on the website And look so yeah, so this is if you're looking for a math curriculum for your young kids, kids that are good in math and you want kids, you want to give them a little bit of a challenge, but still with the short lessons, hands-on, uh, I think this will be a great fit. Uh, we are loving it. And yeah, so I hope, um, hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, and again, if you also want to see a walkthrough, please comment below and I will do that. Um, yes, and just you know any other questions that you may have. I uh, will see you all in my next video.